What's up guys, Primetime Sports back here. Today we'll be breaking down the FBC Mortgage Cure Bowl uh, between the 7-5 and five Liberty Flames, who are an independent, and 7-5 and five Georgia Southern out of the Sun Belt. Two 7-5 and five teams going to battle out in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I believe game starts, we'll, we'll call it mid-afternoon. Um, it's jam-packed in the middle of most likely, actually no, it is the busiest bowl day of the year. So you might not tune into this one, but you should, because it's Hugh Freeze on the sideline for Liberty. And Georgia Southern with their option attack. Break it down for me. Yeah, a key storyline in this game is obviously uh, Liberty. It's their first ever bowl game since gaining eligibility. So motivation. And it happens to be with Hugh Freeze, who's been in some big bowl games. Not mm-hmm. saying this is a big bowl game, but last last bowl game he coached in was the 2016 Sugar Bowl. Happened to be a drubbing at the hands of TCU. 42-3, I believe. Um, but... Coming this game, that'll be... If you have no reason to watch this game, watch you might as well Hugh. watch it for that. Why? You're going to watch it for Hugh. Uh, on the other side, Georgia Southern comes in, you know. In my opinion, I didn't really watch them that much. There's R7 and 5, however... If you keep up with college football at all, you know that Appalachian State is ranked in the top 25. And Georgia State was actually... Southern. At, George, sorry, Georgia Southern is actually App State's only loss in the year. I believe it was 24-21. At App State, too. At App State. At App State. So, Georgia Southern is what not to be taken lightly. I got it off ESPN because where else am I going to get it from? Newspaper. See, the newspaper. Yeah. Comment below if you still read a newspaper. Okay. Um, Georgia Southern, they run an option attack. I believe they played in the Cure Bowl last yeah, year. I don't know about that, but I do know they are the number eight rushing offense in the country. Yeah, because Very similar to an army. Yeah, yeah it, as, and, and just going off ESPN stats, their quarterback actually... I believe, yeah, he's only thrown for, where is it? Yeah, he's only thrown for 704 yards on the year. They're literally all run, I they believe, average, triple they option. average 72 a game. They're, average they're, they're, the yeah, yeah, they're triple option yeah. pretty much. Um, so the question for Liberty will be, can they stop this option attack? Uh, to be honest, Liberty, I really don't know much about. Um, I do know they have a really solid wide receiving corpse. Core? Mm-hmm. They have one specifically very good wide one receiver. One dominant Antonio guy. Gandy Golden. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. I name. like that name, AGG. But he is 47 yards away from breaking the school record um, mm-hmm. for receiving yards. Honestly, this game might look very similar to the San Diego State and Central Michigan game because San Diego State is a run, 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 defense, defense, defense. I'm not saying that Georgia State or Georgia Southern, why not keep saying State? Georgia Southern's defense is that great, but they are going to be a run, 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 and they're going to want to keep the ball, time of possession. They're going to want to have the ball a lot. Liberty, on the other hand, very fast paced offense. Obviously, Hugh Freeze and his offensive principles. Uh, they're they're not concerned about time of possession. They just want to go go go. So it's, it'll be an interesting clash of styles. A little more coaching motivation. You see, uh, Liberty <laughs> wanting to win it for Hugh Freeze, and you might want to watch for Hugh Freeze. But George Southern coach uh, Chad Lunsford is looking for his twentieth win all time. Not 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 the twentieth win all time. All time for with, with George Bulls? Southern with, with no, the Bulls. Just oh, with George just Southern. All, wow. He's he only was, been the coach since twenty seventeen. He took over an zero six squad. Okay, really so he, that he's prominence. Yeah, so they've gotten back, and for you gotta remember, for teams like George Southern, a bowl game is a big deal for them. So you know, I don't really think motivation is a factor for these small bowls for these small teams. Um, I will say that I think Liberty has the motivation edge just because it's their first ever one, but that also gives the experience factor to Georgia Southern. The other thing is that Liberty's run defense isn't great, I believe. In Georgia, Georgia Southern. They give up 152, so. Well, mm-hmm. they'll be giving up more this game. I yeah, promise you that. On the other hand, Liberty's passing, game. Liberty's passing game is exceptional, and the Georgia uh, Southern secondary can be lit up. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Liberty allows 192 per game. Rushing. Rushing. Yeah, so going back to, like, can they stop the run? Yeah. So they give up it's more than I And I believe, yeah, so... <laughs> That's crazy. Georgia Southern's pretty much a one-dimensional team, obviously, with triple options. Just, just think of Georgia Tech, just less talent, to be honest. Yeah. So, that being said, I will say watch the game for a clash of styles and for And if you want to go 41-0. That's, what, that's why we're here. <laughs> for sure, you know, because we're not. We're all going to lose in the Buffalo game. Okay. <laughs> who, who do you got in the game? Cool. Um, I got Georgia Southern. Cool. Who's cool? I Jordan? trust Shai Wirtz okay. a little more than uh, Calvert. You know, Calvert. Um, but Calvert, yeah. I think Georgia Southern... Run game typically to me favors because yeah um, I I agree with that I always just favor the run game especially in a the leading receiver by the way this is really random it only happens fourteen or so only has fourteen receptions for a, they're literally just game. run run yeah. run but I think but they I have more it. they have more of an identity so yeah. I'm gonna get Georgia Georgia Southern as well 
Uh, make sure you keep tuning back in. We want you to go 41 and 0. And maybe, maybe me and you can share that. Uh, Next game we'll $1 have the Cherubundi Book or Ton Bowl. No, yes, Cherubundi Book or Ton Bowl. SMU and Florida Atlanta. Two 10 win teams. That's a, bomb that's, that, that's a good game. So we'll catch you guys later. I'll be Come back for it. Peace. Peace.